been back to Tiburon. It's been three years since I was last there. And I uh, couldn't hardly take it anymore, so we're going back. We got a hunter, Larry Brown, with us right now, and then uh, I gotta tag myself. Guaranteed adventure over there, so we're ready. At least, uh, kind of forget how special that place is until you're there. Call this Hell's Channel right here, and you can see why at this time of day there's, uh, it just gets super just choppy waves stacked on each other. Um, real heavy wind from the north right now, so. It's late anyways, we wouldn't have made it to camp uh, before dark, so we're gonna be here before light in the morning, start getting the boats loaded up and trying to start heading across uh, right at first light, so. We'll be hunting tomorrow, one way or another. It's just right there, but we ain't going today. Good spot in Kino. Yeah, we're about to load up and start heading across. You gotta cross what's called Hell's Channel between the mainland and the island right here. It's real narrow, but it gets real rough. It's starting to pick up right now, but it's still still pretty tranquil, so hopefully we get moving pretty quick. Well, it's all adult channel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to find out. Internal channel there. Tiburon is one of those places that's going to throw everything it's got at you by the end of it. And it's going to teach you things about yourself that you've never known before. It's hard to make any plans going over to the island. Kind of best just to go over there and end up where you end up. Almost loaded. Made it across. Nice and calm getting across. Yeah, it's a big chunk of country out here. It's uh, 464 square miles is what Tiburon is, and uh, which is like 300 and something thousand acres. So a lot of country to look at, very few roads to drive, which means a lot of unpressured stuff to go hunt. So that's why we like it here. Time to go hunting. It can be a real frustrating place to hunt. The wildness of this place is something that you really can't find in a whole lot of other areas nowadays. But at the end of the day, at least for me, that's part of the draw. Good Lord. He's got a drop time about that long. He's got a big point that comes off the base of his G2 inside and another big fish hook on that same side. He's a special one. He's exactly what we came here looking for. Found him bright and early, and 
Yeah, I kind of lost track of him pretty quick and never picked him back up, but holding on to the hope of him being in here for three days in a row so we know this is home. He's living in those bottoms. He's got to catch him when he's up on top or go get down there with him. So, yeah, it's a whole different ball game hunting these deer when you're just relying on the call and where they want to be. So that's what makes it fun. Manana, manana. up there we seen that big deer last three days in a row. Caesar looked off the uh, back side where we've been hunting and uh, caught like a huge group of deer like 10, 15 maybe more deer kind of going up into the hills that's real windy today and it looks like they're heading for a wind break. A couple big looking bucks we're gonna go get closer. Right on the other side is where they were all dropping down into off that hill. Just go out to the point and set that call up. Call that bottom. character they get not only that but just where we're hunting not many people get to come out here and hunt these deer so it feels pretty special every time we get to come out here got some character to him it's what happens you put your time in Chibron's one of those places that's gonna throw everything it's got at you by the end of it. And it's gonna teach you things about yourself that you've never known before. That's the beauty of it. That's the romance for, for me. Character and the, the stories of the big deer out here is what keeps me coming back, not only that, but just the, the adventure of hunting on the island. These hunts may come to an end, but the island, it's always here. 